Hello everybody, a very big welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be nice for us to catch up and do my makeup together, our makeup together. Do any of you watch this while doing your makeup? Because that would be cool. I have a lot of things that I wanted to talk with you about today and as well as that, a few of you on my live streams, if you didn't know, I live stream on younow.com forward slash nincompoop frequently, so make sure you're following me on there. But a lot of you were saying, oh, when are you gonna do your tutorial? And I was like, yes, yes, okay, I will do it. So I tried my hardest to find the most brightest stuff in my room um, to put on my face. Something I've been loving doing when like, I wanna scrape my hair back is just using a tiara because why not? I mean, it's a lot more exciting than a hairband. Speaking of hair, I cut my hair off. I know. Oh my god. I mean, I cut my hair off a while ago, but I cut more of my hair off. It's on my shoulders now. Before it was like down here. I kind of actually would like to do a video on, maybe not a video, maybe a blog post of just why short hair is just the best at the moment. It has added so much volume to my hair and I knew so many other people that had chopped their hair off and were rocking it. So I was like, I want a slice of that life. The first thing I'm going to be using this new collection from Urban Decay that I got sent the other day. Oh my god, I'm loving it. This one in particular, it's it, oh. <laughs> it's basically a collection Urban Decay brought out inspired by the artist Basquiat and you can actually hang the palettes up for art when you're finished with the shadows afterwards, afterwards which is to me, genius. I'm going to create a look with this palette. Obviously this is going to be my favourite out of the lot and I'm also going to be using some of the incredible eyeliners from the new collection too. I am not actually going to be using this on my eyes. I will show you what I'll be using this for later. I'm going to do something different on both of my eyes. <laughs> Obviously, this is Ellie here. She's not going to do something normal. I kind of did this look the other day when I went out for a meal with Myth friends and my sister kept telling me that I looked like a mermaid. So I was like, that's fine. The first shade I'm going to be using is Untitled. I'm going to then move on to the one next to that called Boom. Does anyone watch the crazy Russian hacker on YouTube? It always reminds me of him. <laughs> Boom. 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 So then I'm going to use that to go on to the middle. I wanted to give a little quick um, holla to my main men slash women. Pretty sure they're all women actually. Because I promised my top Patreon people that I would give them a shout out. So first up I want to say hi to Ellie Nicholas. Thank you so much. You are my top donator slash supporter i don't really know what the right word is to say and of course to my lovely cheyenne jane lily harvey also and last but not least shaylee hopkinson or shyly hopkinson you're gonna have to tell me what that is because otherwise every time i mention you in a video it's not gonna be right <laughs> and obviously even though i'm only thanking them they are not the only ones supporting me the people on there are the loveliest lot they're the loveliest bunch and i'm having a really good time like giving you guys exclusive early footage. We did an exclusive Patreon Q&A the other day, video Q&A, and it was just so fun. I'm having a lot of fun, honestly. When I want to put a bright white in my inner corner to like open up my eyes and brighten everything up, I always go to this. This is Max Stroke of Midnight Eye Palette. I use this quite a bit. I love this because it's got the brightest white and the darkest black that I've ever owned. And those two are really, really handy. I've got my own shirts, guys. I've got my own shirts. Look, it's a little pizza where your heart is and it's in the shape of a heart and it's got a little Wi-Fi in the pizza slice. I'm actually really surprised about how like casual I made the announcement because it's something that I'm actually super duper excited about and I don't know I've something I've wanted to do for a very long time and of course the shirt is officially called I heart pizza and wi-fi um I'm gonna bring out like a load of my own kind of designs and just make stuff anyone can wear they don't need to know who I am but stuff that still screams me you know without having like my name all over it I'm really nervous and <laughs> kind of scared to see what you guys think. I tried to make it as cheap as I possibly could and when I say that I literally mean that I couldn't make it any more uh, cheap and that's because I'm using like a website that sorts out the shipping and stuff for me and they, they need it at a certain price because the material still needs to be paid for and blah blah blah. Um, so I made it the cheapest I possibly could even if that meant I get basically nothing commission wise. I hope you like it and I've got mine in pink but I would prefer probably 
grey. I just wanted to try the pink to see if the um, colour for the material was any good. So I'm going to do lots of different designs and I'm actually working on the next few things already but I've just got the shirts at the moment, like the, the shirts at the moment because that's the only thing, you know, I've actually done. <laughs> Everything else is kind of half way there. The main thing I care about is just seeing you lot in the shirts. I would love, 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 love if you could take pictures of you wearing the shirts and I could make like a fun montage and put it somewhere. How cool would it be if you guys could send me pictures of you wearing the shirts next to landmarks or just something that shows how far the shirts have gone like that would be well cool um the only thing is is that shipping is a little bit shitty and expensive because it prioritizes where i live which is the uk so if you're outside of the uk it's like really annoying and expensive so i'm gonna move down to the next um color which is exu x ex xu xu and i'm gonna try and get it on the tip of my brush and then i'm gonna just put it on the Bottom. I think this is what gives the look a mermaidy feel because there's blues and greens and it just looks very aqua based. Blend that out. It's crazy how much good blending can do to your life. <laughs> this I am going to go for a more purple based. So, mm. Sorry, I've, I've literally just eaten lunch before filming this. And I'm actually going to stick with Urban Decay for this look. Uh, I'm now going to use their Electric palette, which is one of my favourite palettes in the world. These two here. They're very glittery and just vibrant. So, recently, I've bloody conquered my bladder infection so far like famous last words i know i'm speaking a bit too soon so basically if you don't know um i have had a lot of bladder problems um and i found what i think may be the solution i've only taken six of these in total and i already feel so much improvement i will let you know further down the line if anything changes i went into holland and barrett and told the woman that i have bla bladder infection problems and she was like take these like take these her daughter took them apparently and her infection never came back ever again and i was like what and she goes yeah and she tried everything so they weren't a holland and barrett but she wrote them down and was like look them up they're really good they're natural and you have basically little to no side effects it's just sugar basically that's what it looks like you can get it in powder form or little capsules like this will ellie's cystitis disappear for the rest of her life find out in the near future so i'm gonna now move on to the shade next to it which is called jilted lighter and brighter and then of course we're gonna go back to our trusty mac so my mum went to a dog show um in london not a dog show an animal show thing in london and there was a bloody pomeranian stand and you could hug and hold Pomeranians. I was so mad at her when she came home and told me. I was like, why didn't you know that and research that? I would have booked tickets straight away. And I would have just like chilled with the Pomeranians while my mum went around and fannied about with all the other animals. Oh my god, I'm so annoyed. I was like, I love bloody Pomeranians. They're my favourite animal and I've never even touched one. Like, what is my life? That kind of reminds me. Um... With like all my merch stuff that I want to make, I'm going to do something Pomeranian based because my goal with the whole clothing thing, I'm going to have like one thing on there that connects to one of my interests. I'm going to have one product, product involving Chinese food, one product involving Pomeranians, one product involving what I buy in pizza. Like, do you know what I mean? It's going to capture like coffee, uh, tea, something that will capture my love for something. Cameras, blah, blah, blah. I think I'm going to go for yellow. So I'm just going to whip out out quickly my bh party girl um which has bloody loads of different colors 40 to be precise um i'm gonna use that bright yellow here i know everyone always says they would love to be a make a makeup guru but if you think you're good at makeup as soon as you put a camera on you just fail or your equipment does or something and it just makes you just look like you don't know what you're doing i don't know i just hate filming makeup tutorials but I want to make them that's a weird thing <laughs> sort of like you want to eat dinner but you can't be bothered to make it right it's never the same as just film as just doing your makeup in front of the mirror I'm going to be of course using collections lasting perfections concealer in fair because I'm really pale so much damn coverage so I usually put it here here and here like I'm in some sort of tribal group on me spots I'm having a particularly 
bad breakout at the moment. Ta -da. Um, and then I use one of these, which is a dirty <laughs> makeup sponge. <laughs> and then I use foundation. It's L'Oreal's True Match Foundation. It's so super like high coverage. So yeah, I get a, a few dabs of that. This freaking blank canvas brush though, uh, which is in F20 by the way, to dab on me face. The coverage on this is amazing you wait you wait so i'm gonna be using my fab brows duo this is the first time in ages i am not using my freaking Too faced eyebrow kit which i've been using for two years i recently got sent this fab brows duo kit and i'm actually really loving it particularly the brush it comes with oh no i've got foundation on my top <gasps> tits mcgee i've got fucking foundation on my <laughs> So yeah, it literally is as simple as this. It's got two tiny little shades and a brush. Go underneath the brow. Do, 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 do. And then I get the lighter shade and fill the rest of the brow in. And then I use the other side to like, this is the most important bit, I think. And then spread along so it looks like it's just naturally formed a brow rather than drawn on, if that makes any sense. I actually want to do like a uh, makeup hack tip video where I just talk about the little things I do that really help me. Here's just a sneak peek to one of them uh, that I would put in there for sure is to get yourself very creamy light shade so you can find them in like contour kits and stuff. I find it really helpful to put underneath your brows. So... And as well as just kind of helping you blend the shadow underneath that, it defines your brows and just gives them a little bit more definition. I haven't finished yet, by the way. There you go. My fingers seem to work just fine. So I don't know if you can tell, but that's made like a massive dramatic difference. I've been using um, Too Faced recently, loving it. Uh, I've been using the Totally Toasted. So good, look at that. What I usually then do is go down my nose here and here. Now for highlight, I'm gonna do something a little bit more extra <laughs> um, because we're going a bit out there for this. Um, starters, I'm gonna use what I usually use anyway, which is Max Beauty Powder. Um, I actually crumbled this the other day. Look at that, oh, the state of it. However, I'm making do, so I just brush in the bits that have fallen <laughs> and add it to the apple of my cheeks. Oh my God, this is going all over my jeans. And then it's a lot easier to get it on your nose if you put a bit on your finger. I figured, taking me a long time to figure that one out. I feel like any brushes I've ever used hasn't done it as good as what my finger does. And on my cupid's bow. Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue <laughs> along here. It's basically a product that you can use to make uh, glitter stuck. Oh, I've got it the wrong way around. To make glitter stick to your face. Dab, 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 dab. Oh! And then, as professional as I am again, I usually just tap that. And then I'm gonna get some of Stargazer's 106 Glitter Eye Dust. This is in this beautiful purple color. But I'm gonna be using it very, very lightly, so it's not gonna be as crazy as that. It's a super pigmented glitter, and it's actually quite scary. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use my fan highlight brush. Ah. And now I'm gonna stick on these little gems. I actually got these from Candy Coat Co. They're actually a nail company, but I figured perhaps these would look cool on my face. So I'm gonna stick some of those up the line you've I've just drawn on.
that took so much concentration that I actually had to turn off the camera. The last step is going to be lips. And as I was saying earlier in this video, I am gonna actually be using Urban Decay's Glide On Eye Pencil, uh, but for my lips. I told you I was gonna do something weird of it, and I am. So let's give this a shot. Does anyone else use products in the wrong places or is that just me? The reason why I got the idea for doing this actually was because it's like a creamy eye pencil and like as soon as I saw it I was like I'd rather creamy consistency be on my lips and my eyes so I thought <laughs> why not try it? I'm not going to bother showing you how I put mascara on because everyone knows so I'm just about to apply uh, Maybelline's Lash Sensational Mascara. See you in one second. One. Ta-da! This is the um, finished look. Honestly, I feel like some form of mermaid. Um, I hope you enjoyed this look. I hope it gave you some ideas. I mainly do tutorials so you can be inspired. All of these products I have, you might not have, or you might have some products I don't. So just go wild. And I hope to see you around on my channel for some future tutorials in the near future. <laughs> I think if I was to change anything about this look, if I did it again, I'd probably add more glitter and stuff to my hair, but I've actually got some um, glitter, hair glitter stuff coming in the post for some future festival makeup tutorials. Um, but for now, make sure you're subscribed to my channel to be notified every time I make a new video, or you can just follow me on social media such as Twitter, Facebook and Instagram because I post regularly on those. Thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you very soon. Bye!